G'day, I'm Matt Collard. Um, start again. <laughs> G'day, I'm Matt Collard. Uh, this year's Adventure for Dementia. We're riding a bike from uh, a bicycle from Brisbane to Cairns inside seven days. So averaging about 250 k's a day. There's uh, three of us riders that are that are doing the ride, myself, Heather Roberts and um, Craig Willescroft. This is in support of raising awareness for dementia research. We're here at uh, QBI's lovely facility here at UQ St. Lucia today. <laughs> so I am no researcher. I've been through the, the lab and had some speeches from some of the doctors here of, to, to what they do. But in, in seeing that, there, there's some you know groundbreaking technology that hopefully can, can help those that are suffering from dementia or the early onsets of dementia to you know, give them more time with their loved ones and you know more time to actually enjoy some of the things that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to do having dementia. Um, so this is the second year of Adventure for Dementia. This is all stemmed about from um, from our good mate Al Forsyth, the midget. Uh, 35 years I think in the armed forces, 25 of that is a uh, senior SAS <coughs> officer. Um, Al was diagnosed with early onset dementia back in about 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. Um, to watch his decline is just crippling to see, you know, a man that could punch out 100 deep push-ups at the drop of a hat to now not being able to, you know, tie his shoelaces and just do the things that he used to be able to do. So Al's a, I consider a good mate of mine. Uh, he, back early in the piece when my father passed away back in about 2011, um, Al got me into the side of the, the, the fitness uh, mindset. It was a, he may not have realized at the time, but he, Al's the sort of bloke that never ever, never knocked anyone. He always supported everyone in what they did. So with that um, inspiration, I suppose, I always looked up to him just because he was a, a very fair and just man, just like my father. Um, I got into fitness. So I'm Janice, Janice Rushworth, um, and I'm really proud to be here today uh, representing um, um, a research fund that's been created at Queensland Brain Institute in my husband Alistair's name. So it's the Alistair Rushworth um, Scholarship Research Fund. Um, and uh, the reason really that that's so important to me is it's helped me work through some of my grief at his loss, but also I know that, or I like, um, or I believe that it's um, assisting in very important research so that other people don't necessarily have to go through uh, what Alistair went through. Having seen that, you know, once Alistair was given his diagnosis, it was basically, well, good luck. You know there is no treatment. Uh, you just have to learn to live with this. Um, and, um, you know, being able to come and do some work with QBI means that there is research and there, there is hope that we believe that, um, you know, over time we will find ways of treating, not necessarily curing, but certainly of treatment so that you can sustain good co cognitive functioning despite the fact that you have a diagnosis of dementia. And the research is all moving in that direction. Hi, I'm Dr. Tara Walker. I'm a group leader here at the Queensland Brain Institute. So the major focus of the research in my lab is to understand how exercise affects our brain. So the major um, focus of my lab over the last probably five or six years has been to understand or to try and tease out this mechanism and understand how exercise can increase the uh, generation of neurons in our brain. And sort of our long-term goal is to be able to maybe mimic this um, exercise mediated increase in neurogenesis um, to find a way that we can mimic this to increase neurogenesis in people that can't exercise. And a lot of our research um, is actually funded by um, philanthropy um, and without that we wouldn't be able to do um, very much of the research that we do. Um, from my own perspective um, my lab is very much funded by philanthropy money and we are very, very grateful for this, this funding and we couldn't do the project that I was just telling you about actually is one of the projects that is funded by philanthropy. Um, yeah, so without that it wouldn't be possible. Okay, so if you're watching this uh, video, I really call for you to support the Adventure for Dementia in any way that you can by um, raising money or uh, shouting out on your social media uh, network. If you've got the time, it's a great cause. The cause isn't about uh, any one individual that's actually participating in the event. The cause is actually about raising awareness, raising funds for the research. You may not know anyone that, that has dementia. Um, 
you could very well have early onset yourself. If there is any opportunity that you might be able to spare some cash to support us, uh, please do so. We are always looking for sponsors to come and support us as otherwise it's a, a self-supported ride. Um, so dig deep, share it around and come and clap us through on the way.